मैं सर डॉक्टर के विश्वनाथ आलम राजू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनाटिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिंडीगल हैदराबाद टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू द वेलोसिटी एनालिसिस ऑफ ये स्लेडर करंट मैकेनिज्म एंड अदर मैकेनिज्म्स बाय यूजिंग इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर मेथड सो लेट अस ब्रीफली डिस्क्राइब व्हाट इज इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर द सेंटर अबाउट व्हिच the link rotates in relation to other link then that center is known as i center or instantaneous center so this i center will be denoted with different letters some of the test books follows i center notation they denote they represents like i 1 2 this i center is link between 1 and 2 there is i 1 2 If it is I center is for two three between two and three, then it is denoted by I two three. So even though I center I two three two and three is remain same for both three and two, that is I two three equal to I three two. But will follow in ascending order, that is I two three is in ascending. In the case of it is a numerical representation, we are going to follow the I center notation for alphabets. Suppose P and Q, the link P is there and Q is there. This is the I center I P Q. Again, ascending order I P Q. Some of the test books follows instead of keeping everywhere I, they follow simply. One two, two three, uh, and P Q. Thus, they follows with the different uh, letters only. Letters they follow in that manner, but it they follows ascending. They follow ascending order notation. So this is the notation, but we don't follow alpha numerics. Okay. So now it is, uh, it is a representation or notation of the I center. Now, what is the number of I centers? The number of I centers, capital N equal to n into n minus one by two, where capital N is number of I centers, small n is represents number of links or bodies, or number of bodies or links. So it is why they followed like this because. If you want I center, we need minimum two links. Then only I center can be existed. For a single link is rotating with what? That means there should be another link or another body should be there. Okay. Then then it is uh, that's why the number of I centers equal to n into n minus one by two. Okay. So the number of I centers. Will be equal to the number of uh, possible uh, pairs of bodies or links. That's why the combination, n combination with respect to two, n c two. In that manner, we are going to find out uh, the number of I centers by using uh, this formula. That formula is n into n minus one by two. So, in order to find out the locate I centers. Uh, there is a theorem proposed by a Kennedy that is called Arnold Kennedy's theorem. This Arnold Kennedy's theorem represents that if three bodies or if three plane bodies have relative motion to each other, then among themselves their I center lies on a straight line. This is known as a Kennedy theorem. This is the Kennedy's theorem, very very important. So let us find out. We already discussed in previous sessions uh, how to locate, how to find out with the different mechanisms. So there is very very important uh, to in order to solve uh, problems by using I center method. Suppose if there are four links are there, link one, link two, link three, and link four. We used to mark. Either you can follow either rectangle or square. You join all these links. 
Why we are joining? Because links are connected to each other. One link is connected to two, second link is connected to three, third link is connected to four, and fourth link is connected to one. Okay, that is a closed. Then in some of the books, they mentioned they have denoted with a circle. Okay, in order to to show that novelty in the writing, they draw the circle. On the circle, they will mark the number of links. That is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thus they will show. So this is the point one shows link one, it is link two, and it is link three, and it is link four. One, two, three, four. This level 1 and 3 is joined here. So 1, 2 having one eye center, that is 1, 2, 2, and 3 link. That is com com a combination of link 2 and 3. There is a 2, 3, I, 2, 3, I, 3, 4, I, 4, 1, or I, 1, 4. But how many number of centers for 4 links? The number of links are 4, 4 into 4 minus 1, 4 times 3 by 2. Then equal to equal to six. The number of I centers for a four bar mechanism is six. So here already mark here one, two, three, four. Whatever remaining I centers are combined combination one and three. This one three another I center and two four. So total six I centers. So, how to locate these eye centers? There are different types of eye centers comes into the picture now. Some of the eye centers can be visualized or can be inspected directly. Okay, those eye centers are fixed eye centers and permanent eye centers. There are neither fixed nor permanent eye centers can't be uh, located directly. So, by using Arnold Kennedy's theorem, we are going to locate the eye centers. The type of eye centers are neither fixed nor permanent eye centers. Those eye centers, what are they? How to make it? With the help of this methodology, we are going to locate and also we are going to find out. And also number of eye centers can be recognized or can be identified. There is another methodology is one, two, three, four number of links. 1, 2 combination 1 and link 1 is with the link 3 combination, link 1 is with the 4 combination, 1, 4. Similarly, 2 and 3 combination, link 2 with the 2, 3 over, next what is left, link 2 with the 4, 2, 4. Link 3, 1 is left, 3, 4. These are the uh, number of eye centers. In this 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 1, 4, these circles, the circled eye centers can be identified by using inspection directly but whereas remaining dash dash eye centers these eye centers can be located with the help of Arnold Kennedy's theorem or by using this uh, rectangular uh, or triangular or square square diagram you can locate it okay now let us solve the problem yeah, there is very important uh, theorem is there equation that is called theorem is called angular velocity ratio theorem. If you or if we understand this angular velocity ratio theorem, we can crack the questions uh, related to uh, eye center method. Very important. What is the sum and substance of this theorem is that if you want to find out some angular velocity of a certain link and we know already known angular velocity is their value so suppose angular velocity of link 1 is known that is omega 1 is known so i want to explain by in this slide only in this there are 2 and 4 two links are there omega 2 is known angular velocity of link 2 Omega 4 is unknown, it is to be found. So what to do? The concept of this angular velocity ratio theorem says that you have to find out known angular velocity link and unknown angular velocity links a common eye center. 
What is the common I center is 2, 4. That means you find out I2, 4. After locating 2, 4, consider this. This with this common and I center link 2 and link 4 are rotating. That is the meaning. Link 2 is having angular velocity omega 2, link 4 is having angular velocity omega 4. But unknown is omega 4, known is omega 2. Having common linear velocity, common center is there means both are having common, no? So that linear velocity omega 2, 4 equal to, sorry, V2, 4 equal to omega 2 times the distance from common I center to the particular link. This link 2 having another I center, that is 1, 2. Similarly, V2 4 with omega 4 and omega 4 and the distance from this 4 is rotating with what? With 1 4. So, 1 4 to 2 4 distance. So, we know that V2 4 equal to omega 4 times 2 4 1 4. So, omega 4 equal to V2 4 by 2 4 1 4. So, what is the V2 4 again? Omega 2 times 2 4 1 2 distance. Substitute over here. This omega 4 by omega 2 is equal to 2, 4, 1, 2 distance by 2, 4, 1, 4. So, what is the physical meaning of this angular velocity theorem? Angular velocity ratio theorem is that the angular velocity ratio of two links relative to, there is a third link is there. What is the third link? Here it is, link 1 is the third link. Here the third link is the fixed link, link 1. So the, the angular velocity ratio of two links related to the third link is inversely proportional to the distance of their common I centers from their respective centers of rotation. So this omega 2, link 2 is rotating with respect to link 1. Omega 4, link 4 is rotating with respect to 1. So the link 2 with respect to 1, the I center for link 2 1 is 2 1 and the 4, link 4 is rotating with respect to 1, I center for 4 and 1 is 1 4. So that's why here 1 4 1 2 is gut is, is interaction, is in touch with a common I center 2 4. Okay. So this theorem states that this two links 2 and 4 are rotating in relation to the third link. What is the third link is? Link 1. Their distances or their velocities, angular velocity ratios is inversely proportional to, their angular velocities are inversely proportional to their distances, rotation distances to the common I center 2, 4. So, very simple here, omega 4 is inversely proportional to 2, 4, 1, 4 is the distance. Alright. That is the meaning. So it is inversely proportional to. So the theorem states that uh, okay, the angular. I mean, it, this theorem is so important in order to find out the unknown angular velocity of a link of a mechanism. Okay. Now, what is the positive? What is the clockwise direction or counterclockwise direction? How can we know? So the points one, two, and one, four lie. 1, 2 and 1, 2 and 1, 4 lie on the line of 2, 4, 1, 4 and the directional rotation of two links 2 and 4 are the same is the same that is clockwise or counterclockwise. So had they been on the opposite sides of the common eye center the direction would have been opposite. So whether it is in clockwise direction or counterclockwise direction because both are in the same side. So 1, 2, 1, 1, 4 are the both the side of 2, 4 side. So if 1, 2, link 2 rotates clockwise, link 4 also moves in clockwise. Okay. If it is in counterclockwise, in counterclockwise. But what is the meaning here? The statement says that if uh, both are same side, that's why it's the same rotation. If the link 4 in opposite direction of the link 2, opposite means in opposite side of the line of 2, 4, 1, 2, then it will be different direction. That is the meaning. Now coming to the solving problems, very, very important. 
in a sliding crank mechanism the lens of the crank and the connecting rod are 200 millimeters and 800 millimeters respectively locate all the eye centers of the mechanism for the position of the crank when it has turned 30 degrees from the inner dead center also find the velocity of the slider and the angular velocity of the connecting rod if the crank rotates at 40 radians per second the meaning is that in a slider crank mechanism the lengths of the crank and connecting rods are given the length of the connecting rod the length of the crank equal to 200 millimeter the length of connecting rod equal to 800 millimeters what to do first objective is that locate all the eye centers of the mechanism that is the first objective when it has turned 30 degree from the inner direct center it depends upon your position if you consider it is in this direction also okay or this is 30 degree from the inner dead center it is inner and it is outer dead center also find the velocity of the slider we want this is a fixed link 1 2 3 4 velocity of the find the velocity of the slider the velocity of the slider and angular velocity of the connecting rod if the crank rotates 40 radians per second omega 2 equal to 40 radians per second according to angular velocity ratio theorem we know that omega 2 we have to find out omega 4 or v4 that means 2 and 4 that means common eye center we have to locate it we have to first locate the common eye center then next step step by step we we'll go for the procedure let us see so this is a configuration diagram the figure a is space diagram or configuration diagram so short form you can follow it as a short form in the sense easy way pronunciation is a space diagram we have to follow exact space diagram you have to draw for a given with a given scale dimensions you follow the crank is 200 millimeters so this is 20 centimeters and also practically you can take a scale the original scale to the way presenting the scale is that you can say 1 by 4 1 is to 4 so if you follow 1 is to 4 this crank becomes how much 50 millimeter and this becomes uh, 4 200 millimeters 20 centimeter so how to start drawing mark a scale first step take any point draw a horizontal line from the 30 degree you take a line on that line mark arc that is 50 millimeter with the help of the compass after that with this point a keep the compass at point a and draw an arc to the horizontal line with 200 millimeters or 20 centimeter then join these two points there is a point b it is a point a that's it over then how to locate it so locating eye centers first one two link one and two you mark the links 1, 2, 3, 4. Here the links, fixed link is 1, crank is 2, connecting on is 3, and it is a slider 4. So 1 and 2, this is the 1, 2, 2 and 3, 2, 3. First you mark. Okay. How to mark everything, how to mark it, how to begin. What are the eye centers, sir? Follow this methodology of 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 3, 4. These are the links. These are the eye centers. This is called link and eye center table. 
लिंक एंड आई सेंटर टेबल फॉर एवरी मेकेनिज्म यू फॉलो लाइक दिस नाउ मार्क वन टू नेक्स्ट वन टू ओवर नेक्स्ट टू एंड थ्री टू थ्री थ्री एंड फोर दिस इज थ्री फोर टू केट थ्री फोर नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज लेफ्ट नेक्स्ट लिंक फोर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वन बिकॉज द स्लाइडर the eye center will be at where at infinity because it is a linear motion and the slider is a translator motion what is the radius of rotation is infinity that's why i center at infinity 1 4 so this is an next 1 4 what left 1 3 2 4 how how to get 1 3 2 4 with the help of again this diagram mentioned 1 and 3 comes By joining one two two three and one four three four, the intersection of one two two three and one four three four. Where is one two two three? This is one two and it is two three. Draw a line. Next one four three four. This is one four and it is three four. Intersection line. It intersects at i center one three. Next we want next combination. What is the next combination? Is We want link two four one three. We got it. What is the link two four? How to get link two four? This link two and four. Link two four is extension of one two one four. Where is one two? This is one two. Yes. How this one four is transferred here? Because it is at infinity, it can become here also, here also, here also. Anywhere you can draw, you can make it here. All right. Then what will happen? we can make it but for our convenience in order to mark it we transfer this 14 from link 4 here to the fixed link 14 now 14 and 12 here extend next 14 14 12 extension next this is the combination no this next one 2 3 and 3 4 extension this is 2 3 and it is 3 4 you extend the line That is two four. The common eye center is two four. This is the first objective. Okay, how to go? How we are getting first objective? This is the manner. In this manner, we have to locate the all eye centers. Okay. Now, suppose I want to explain it. More briefly, suppose there is a four-bar mechanism is there. This is one link one two link three four. So again one and two. One two link. Next, this is two and three. I center three and four. I center four and one. I center. Now four I centers we got. Whereas two three two four and three four. One two over two three over three four we got one four. What left? One two two three. Sorry, one two. This is one three, and it is two three. One three and two four. How to get it? One three and two four. One three. How to get it? One three two four. Two three. This is three four. This is one four. How to get one three? This is the one three joining one and three. One and three is bisecting the rectangle or square into two parts. Two triangles are forming. One two two three extension. One two two three extension. Next one four three four extension. Where is one four? This is one four and three four extension. This is one three. Next one three location is over. Second, how to get it? The second one, that is two four. The two four is combination. How it is coming? Diagonal is joined for two rectangle, two triangles. 
वन टू वन फोर एक्सटेंशन वन टू वन फोर यू एक्सटेंड नेक्स्ट वन टू वन वन टू वन फोर नेक्स्ट टू थ्री थ्री फोर This is two three and it is three four. You extend the eye center. This is the eye center of link two one four. That is eye two four. Thus we have to locate the eye center. First we have to learn how to locate the eye center with the help of number of links and eye center table and square diagram. This square diagram helps for how to join, how to extend the uh, eye centers. now this is the basic but this extension came from from kennedy's theorem this joining is there no square diagram as i am discussing comes from where from kennedy's theorem this link to link 1 2 3 are three links these three links are having their common eye centers but it must be a where on a straight line On a straight line. That's why one, two, two, three. What is the one, two, two, three link? Common is one, three. One, four, three, four, four, four. Remove. What is that? One, three. So these three links, link one, four, three, and link one, two, three. These are three links. One, four, three. Three links are there. Where will be the straight line? Is the straight line is on a straight line. How to get on a straight line? That's what one two two three. You extend a straight line. One four three four. Extend a straight line. That intersection is diagonal joined. That intersection point is the eye center of common these three. Okay, common for link one three. Now this eye center one three is the common eye center for link one and three. Okay, link one three rotating about this eye center. Link two four meaning is what? Link two four, the I center common I center of this I two four is the common I center of two links. What are they? Link two and link four. Okay, that is what very very important. If you understand the concept, any complicated mechanism also we can solve. Now this is a portion of locating I centers. Now after locating the I center. Okay, what is the, we know that we know that the velocity ratio v two four equal to omega two times omega two times one two one four that is v two four equal to omega four times one four two two four. This is a formula. Now we know this formula. What is the formula? If we know this, we want velocity of the slider v two four. That means this link two having okay, but the link two also having the linear velocity of link two for this is a common eye center. Now omega two we know if you substitute here, there are different methods are there. Equate one four two two four. We know the omega two distance. That omega two is forty. That is distance one two two four equal to omega four times one four two four distance. This one two two four. You measure the distance from this diagram. First, to draw the configuration diagram. Next, forty into one two two four known distance. That omega four times what is one four two two four? Where is one four? This one four two two four. This one four is at infinity, and two four is here. How to measure the distance? That's why in this problem, what you have done is that the linear velocity of the center i center two four i two four equal to because it's complicated. This data we don't know because two four. Because this one four is at infinity distance, how to measure this? So we cannot follow. But actually, this is the drawback in this. So how to do it? Another the another method is that v two four linear velocity of the eye center v two four. This v two four means what? 
linear velocity of the eye center this eye center is common linear velocity of common eye center common for both link 2 and 4 so if we find out this value v24 equal to omega 2 times 1 2 2 2 4 you substitute here this linear velocity is same for link 4 also what is the link 4 is here slider that's why it is a slider linear velocity now substitute here v24 equal to 40 times 1 2 2 2 4 distance that is 0.123 okay centimeters substitute here that is 40 times 0.123 this is 4.92 meter per second in the horizontal side the horizontal direction this linear velocity is equal to it is the same of link 4 also v24 is the linear i centers linear velocity I centers linear velocity of 2, link 2 and link 4 both are same. So link 2 is linear velocity we found out that common I centers 40 times 4.92. So this V24 is common to which link? Link 4. What is the link 4 is here? Slider. So that becomes the linear velocity of the slider. Thus we found out that is the linear velocity of the slider. But very important is thing is that if you, after understanding the problem, in this problem, find the velocity of the slider and the angular velocity of the connecting rod. That is the next portion. There is not mentioned here. Okay, we will have to find out. The point is that here in this problem, they ask find the velocity of the slider. Velocity of the slider means it is a linear velocity of the slider suppose if they ask you angular velocity of the slider you stuck up the problem if they ask you in this simple problem if they ask you angular velocity of the slider means it is you cannot find out you can't measure why because the distance we know that after understanding the problem you can you can understand better This 1, 4 to 2, 4 distance can't be known because link of 1, 4 is where? At infinity. That's why angular velocity of the slider can't be calculated in this. We know linear velocity from this output omega 4 to 1, 4 to 2, 4 distance. This 1, 4 to 2, 4 distance you can't measure it. So then what will happen? Omega 4 can't be found out. Can't be found because V24 we know also. Okay, so simple problem and so wonderful. Okay, in this session we learn what is eye centers and how to locate the eye centers with the help of Arnold Kennedy's theorem. What is the notation of eye centers? What is the formula of eye centers? And uh, what is angular velocity ratio theorem? And what is the, how it is will be applicable in calculating the angular velocities or linear velocity of the different links of a slider crank mechanism. Today's title is that Velocity uh, Analysis of a Slider Crank Mechanism by Using Instantaneous Center Method. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.